Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Saturday, April the 27th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. Alright, continue on with Double Score Weekend. This started this past Thursday, we had it yesterday, Friday, today, Saturday, we'll have it tomorrow, Sunday. It typically bleeds over into this Monday, so this is a good time to be gaining some traction on the old six, uh, season 16 season pass. Now, if you do happen to have some of these boosters, score booster drinks, you can go ahead and use those as well. They'll definitely help you out. Uh, now, you can also buy uh, score booster drinks if you don't happen to have any on you right in the Atomic Shop. Now, personally, I don't know anyone who does, but uh, at least it gives you guys the option if you so wish, like if you're really behind and you've been busy at work or school and such, okay? So here they are here. Sometimes they are on sale if you have followed first, apparently, but uh, but there you go. Just to show you that they are available. All right. Many videos on my channel that will help you guys out and give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. That way there, if you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments and tips, which is great, which is greatly appreciated. So let's take a look here. Uh, there is a couple things we can do right here in our camp. Let's go ahead. We're going to um, this one here. Craft any plushie at a tinkerer's bench one. All right. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, I'm so new to the game, Jim. I don't even own a plushie or have a plushie as a plan. So in the past, we can earn plushies by completing certain events. Now, if you look at my channel, I have many videos, and just recently we had the Mothman Equinox. There's a couple planned plushies that we uh, earned <laughs> through completing that event, Mothman Equinox. And I believe this event will be popping up here soon, just to kind of give you guys an example. Uh, there are a couple of uh, events that are going on right now. That, that, that's just one we're going on right now. It's called Beast of Burden. It happens right down here, Sacramento Glade. And, uh, Probably better if you have other folks with you, of course. But uh, there is a plan, uh, a chance that a plan for a plushie will drop here as well. And then uh, right up here at uh, Middle Mountain Cabins, there'll be an event called Safe and Sound. And again, there'll be uh, a chance for a plan to drop there as well. Not all the time. It all depends on the server and the chance. But uh, you can get a plan from completing those, uh, those tip, uh, similar events there. Uh, now, if you want to know if, like, if you're a returning player and you're thinking, I think I might own a plushie, I'm not too sure, Jim. So you open up your menu, you go to the Atomic Shop, okay? Go down to your camp items here. You just scroll down. You don't hit uh, hide own. You just scroll down, and this will show you uh, the type of uh, stuff that you own, all right? And if, you want, and if you scroll down here, there's even stuff that we don't own yet, like this Sergeant Mr. F Fuzzy plushie that we can buy right now in the Atomic Shop. Or 250 atoms now 250 atoms and i would say maybe 350 atoms is a typical price for a plushie in the atomic shop if you so wish to buy them this guy here is 300 this guy here is 300 as well and uh it'll also show some sometimes it does show some plushies that you already own so just an fyi there like yeah these ones here see how it says owned so i've owned these here for quite some time but uh just to give you guys an idea all right now to craft a build a plushie at a tinkerer's bench you just go to your tinkerer's bench here and you go craft and we're going to keep going down the list here it's kind of hidden down here to souvenirs and you slide it over and this is where you would craft a flare for your backpack you would craft a beer stein and of course you'd craft a plushie and most plushies will only cost you a couple cloth some do require just a little bit more but most of them only require cloth okay and all you gotta do you just build one, just like that. Simple. Build, craft any plushie at a Tinkerer's Bench one for one. There we go. It rank, rank 85 already. Nice. Now, I do want to kind of add this in because I know I, I'm always asked this question, especially with newer folks here. What's when you craft that plushie at the Tinkerer's Bench? If you open up your uh, Pip Boy here, and here it is under the new uh, section. And if it's not under the new section, if you happen to log off or whatever they come back in it'll be under your miscellaneous section 
There's not a whole lot we can do with them here, okay? Uh, basically, if you try to equip it, you said you cannot equip this item, all right? I know some people can display them in some dipl some certain display cases, so kind of keep that in mind. Uh, but basically, if, you t if I try to drop it, or if I try to sell it, it says this item cannot be dropped to destroy itself. And let's go ahead and do that. Now, if you're wondering, hey, Jim, okay, how, how can I put this plushie in my camp? I don't know how to do that. So, what, so all you have to do is when you're inside your camp or your workshop, my new, if you claim a workshop, you just go to your build menu, just like this. And all your plushies will be under floor decor. Right here. You just, it's, it's way down the list for me because uh, I have a lot of stuff here. Let's keep going. I think we're getting pretty close. Right there. So here's all the plushie areas. And I'll even show the ones that you cannot build. I'll have like a little red mark line through it coming up there. See the little lock there. Okay, so I can't even build these ones myself. But this is where you would uh, craft the plushie. Let's put this little guy somewhere. Put him right here. Yeah. Burp, just like that. And that's how you would put a plushie, build a plushie in your camp. Okay, so just, I just wanted to add that in. Because I know I've been asked before in the past. So I thought just kind of add that into the video. Just in case folks are wondering. And I have videos, separate videos showing that anyway. Alright, what's next here, Jim? What is next? Consume any chems too. So we talk about this several times this week. At least a couple times every week. Consume any chems or craft any chems or collect any chems. This time here we actually have to consume them. So many times people will have chems on them. Even if you're a brand spanking new player. And basically just open up your menu. And you'll be under aid, right? And uh, there's be a bunch of chems here. Etikol, Mentats, Radaway. You know, Radaway Diluted, Stimpaks, uh impact diluted and such okay you guys have seen me use the old uh chemistry station here we have crafted them using the chemist perk card and the super duper perk card to kind of help us help us craft more of them okay uh but let's just uh, do something a little bit different here today instead you can find chems literally everywhere okay if you have human enemies like blood eagles like these guys up here like with that icon uh cultists with that kind of icon okay on the screen uh Point Pleasant. I have a couple videos showing me get like 30, 30 different types of chems here at Point Pleasant from the cultists, from them killing them and uh, basically just laying around. And we'll find the vast majority of chems just laying around. And if you're a brand spanking new player, donation boxes is a good good way to get some chems as well. You can uh, get to the donation box. I know a lot of my uh, subs and members donate to the donation box, so that's always a good way as well. And right down through Flathoods, Flatwoods, one of the best places, easiest places to go. There's usually chems just littered this place. Uh, where we're going to take you here today is actually right here at the Gilman Lumber Mill. Let's pop over here. Now, once upon a time, if uh, especially if you're a brand new person never played before, uh, there used to be uh, enemies here, but now it's been taken over by the responders. So this place is fairly, it, it's an old place, but the, the taken over by responders is fairly new within the year. And uh, this is just to give you a prime example of chems, okay? So you open this up here. And basically all you do is just kind of search around. Right? Uh, and look right here. we got the stim packs laying right here. And every back. time I come here, I'm not even joking. Every, every time I come here, there's two stim packs. There's a blood pack and there's a healing salve right in this one location. Okay? And all you do is you pick them up and you take them. Look at that. There's another healing salve right there. Three, look, there's a rat away right three, here. Eight, and we're going to take that cram. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, a bunch of stuff here as well. I think there's usually a psycho back here. Let's see. Yep. Right, there's a psycho right there. I uh, usually have these uh, first aid kits. Sometimes just purified water and boil for water. But of course, that's not a chem. But there's all kinds of chems just sitting right in this one tiny little area here. And it's a neutral area. And uh, so that just kind of gives you a really good idea of what you guys can do. So we're going to go ahead. I already have a bunch of stuff on us. And um, I do have a rat away, but uh, I don't think I'd be able to take a stim pack because I am su such high health. Let's go to a uh, source of water here. If there is a source of water over here, Jim. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself some rads. All right, let's go to a source of water. Wow, Jim. Wow, way to, way to drop the ball here, buds. 
any source of water will give you some sort of rats. And we're going to pick up some rats that way. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's plop ourselves down here. Burp. And of course, not, not getting rats from this water, are we? Wow. Wow. <laughs> All we can do when you, if you're new to the game and you hear, you know, or you read comments that are from like five years ago from people, all we could do is laugh at ourselves when stuff like this happens because it's hilarious. It's fun. Just keep going here. We're going to pick up some rats, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's working. <laughs> it's working. We're just going to go down this little river here. Now, I, I think I do have a radiation barrel in a couple of my camps, but uh, I thought in my mind <laughs> with doing this, this will be a lot easier. <laughs> uh, goodness gracious. And what else we got here? We got some uh, animals around here somewhere. You know, he's eat some meat that's uncooked. That's always a possibility. A little beaver over there. Now the people have come back to this area. All want to be setting up places. <laughs> His body just flew down the road. Sorry to do this to you, bud. No, no uh meat off of that guy. Whatever. Yeah, you get quite a bit of rats down to this little section here. This is amazing. This is a real huge drop of the ball. <laughs> and the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm full health. If I, if I try to stay, take a stim pack, it's uh, basically uh, not going to let me. Why? What's with the beavers here? There we go. Alright, let's eat some of that meat here. There we go, 50. There we go, Jim. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So hopefully we can do this fast enough. Let's open up our uh, Pip-Boy again. And we're going to go aid. We can take a Berry Mentat. There we go. And we can take a right away. There we go. Give you guys a good example of things that you can do. Especially if you're a newer player. Just to kind of just kind of throw that out there, right? I just didn't want people to try to use a stim pack. And they're full health. They get Jim. This is not working for me, butts. So I just want to kind of go through a real world kind of situation of what would happen kind of deal. All right. That's what I like to do. You know, throw things in just to kind of help you out. There we go. What's next here, Jim? What is next now that we beat that to death? <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead. Complete a daily quest one. So I made a video probably about three and a half months ago. It was an hour and 10 minutes. I went around the map. I did all kinds of daily quests. And uh, I was just on a private server. i show you how to activate them, how to complete them. Now, I am asked in the comments sometimes, you know, this certain quests aren't popping up for me. Uh, there are quests that will not pop up for you, like the one up here in Crater, okay, when you talk to Roxy. Uh, the one down here in Foundation, when you talk to Ward, okay. Uh, those and the ones here at the White Spring Resort, there's usually three of them that could pop up here. Uh, they don't, they're not there all the time. They're not there all the time. Now, certain ones like this, like talk to the curator up here, uh, you know, Jack O' Lantern and the Pumpkin House, just for some good examples, they pop up more frequently for some reason. I don't know why that is. Okay. Uh, so let's go up here. We're going to go up here to Crater as we see talk to Roxy up here. Now, a lot of times these ones here, uh, I find that if I spawn there a couple times, like within a week, it'll pop up. So let's go ahead. We're going to pop up here to Crater exterior. And you'll see Roxy leaning on a bus. Now you'll see a couple of videos I had made uh, showing just this. Right, so now that we're here, we're going to activate this. So you just go over that little diamond there. You'd go toggle activate. And what that does, it brings it to the top of your screen here. See, it says daily retirement plan. Talk to Roxy. Okay, and that's how you would activate that. And so you know where to go. 
and that goes for like, events as well and uh quests just like if you're playing the game just like regular you know overseer quest wastelander quest and such make sure it's activated if you deactivate it it's not gonna pop up in your screen and think where do i gotta go <laughs> all right so here's roxy right here here's the name got a bit of a head start on you but i think you can catch up just tell me what to do roxy good you're not a flake i'm <laughs> impressed I had a hunter follow the trail earlier, so I think these directions will get you close enough. If you only find a corpse, well, that's fine. Maybe the others got there first. I just want to know that it's done. Yeah, right on, Roxy. All right, good stuff. Just so you see how it updated there? Deal with Nothing the former fancy. raider, and we have an the optional word, intercept enough. the hunters. Okay, now we can we can do both. You can intercept the hunters, or we could deal with the former raider, and that's what I like usually like to do. So I open up the map here, and we're gonna go down to the map, and so these things will be moving, of course, because they're trying to find each other. So we have some. Um, oh, they're all right here. Deal with the former raider. So you see, they're deal with the former raider. Optional, so they're probably in a big uh, firefight right now. Let's go to the cars and uh, family bunker. We'll just fast travel quickly over here. Now there is a chance that you come here, and that former raider is already dead. It has happened to me, I don't know how many times. So just an FYI, that can and will happen. And if that's the case, you just go back to Roxy. And uh, just let her know. And you can lie to her if you so wish, right? It doesn't affect uh, the caps that you get and such. Let's go up here. You just got to watch out for these uh, higher level areas if you happen to be lower level. Right, there's a former raider. There's a raider hunter. What's uh? What ain't mine. Okay, let's interact with them. Here to chit chat, are you? Oh, they're looking at the gulpers in the background. See them? I just want to talk. Attack. Roxy sent a message for you. Perception eight plus. Hand over those caps in your pocket, and I'll tell Roxy that you're dead. Let's do that one. Seriously? There we go. Jeez, whatever. I don't even have to let the finger get out of my face. Watch That's that. Cool. You guys trying to come up with a plan to kill those uh, gulpers? Last time I did came here, they uh, those gulpers wrecked you guys. Just saying. What are you guys doing? Having a smoke Gotta break or something? Jeez. For free. We were better. <laughs> we that yet. Okay, that's what I get for doing that, I guess. <laughs> Let's get some drink here, Jim. Holy mackerel butts. You guys are probably looking at that and thinking, Jim, you really need to get something to drink, man. Parched. Right here, it, it, it's hard. It's hard to hear in the wasteland. You're running around, doing daily, weekly challenges, making videos, and your character just, you know, just gets perched, you know? Huh. <laughs> Let's head back to Roxy. Head back up here. The crater, which is, a, of course, a free fast travel, which is awesome. Save a little bit of caps. <laughs> Funny how they both looked at me at the same time started talking. <laughs> Love it. I love it. God, I love this game. It's so funny. Hey, you want to put some clothes on there? Oh, she does have them on now. Okay. Jeepers. <laughs> wow. Right on. Whatever. Okay, here's old Roxy here. Loyalty. Can I cross this name off my list or what? Yeah, it's done. As you can see, we can lie. Appalachia is a new corpse. The only thing that matters is I took care of it. So we're just going to lie to her. Nice work. I've got a little extra set aside for my best hunters here. Thanks for dealing oh, right with this, on. kid. So you're due some payment here. <laughs> Hard work deserves real pay. Now scrap. There we go. Daily quest, one for one, done. Daily retirement plan. And you can see one thing. If Once when you progress further through the uh, Wastelanders uh, quest line and you complete, you'll eventually get to a time where you, uh, you know, in between the, um, the settlers down in Foundation and these raider folk, you can gain certain reputa reputation with them. Okay, so FYI on that. And that will uh, grant you access to buy certain uh, items or that from them kind of deal, from their vendors, okay? So that one there is done. As you can see, extremely easy. But again, I do want to make a mention now that we did this, okay? If I try to come back tomorrow, it's not going to work. If I come back the day after, it's not going to work. This probably won't pop up for at least another week. Just an FYI, all right? And it'll only spawn up if I fast travel up here. All right. So there we go. Uh, what's next here, Jim? Restore a robot 10. Great, great. So I have many great videos showing you how to wear and find a destroyed robot. 
Uh, now I do have an older video up here and it shows you at Vault 76. And uh, once upon a time, I would say within the last year, uh, before we had an update last year, there's two parking lots just to the west of here. There's an upper parking lot and lower parking lot. There used to be 10 Liberators here, but now all we find there is weakened ghouls. Now I went to that video, made that little update, so don't even bother going to that location anymore. Okay. Uh, another good spot for some uh, Liberators is right down here. Charleston train yard. You'll find pretty close to 10 of them here. We have done, we did that one just the other day. Uh, if you parted, uh, completed a uh, uh, part of the Wastelanders quest line called Mayor of Watoga, all right, there's a lot of robots down here. And if you completed Mayor of Watoga, those robots are now passive. You can come down here and just kill them all, and they won't come after you, even though you down them in front of each other. They'll just kind of keep staying passive. Okay, so FYI on that. Where I'm going to take you here in this video, actually, before we begin that, right down here at Baltec Agricultural Research Center. I bring you guys down here all the time, outside of the building, inside of the building. We have a bunch of little Mr. Handys running around. And this is probably your first uh, experience with robots. When you come down from Vault 76, you make your way down here, you go down through Flatwoods. And usually when you get to about here, you'll sometimes see a uh, spot in an event called Fertile Soil. And that'll probably be the first event you ever do. And uh, just because you spawned it in, and it will always be like that, you can spawn this event in Fertile Soil, and then they all become uh, aggressive towards you. That way there you can use your fats against them. And uh, yeah, they're getting all kinds of robots here. All kinds of them. Uh, what we're going to take you here today is uh, right up close to where my old camp used to be up here in Clarksburg. Let's go up here just because we're close from where we are right now. All right, so good old Clarksburg here. Now the lower section will be full of ghouls, okay? Usually about six or seven of them. But the upper section here will be all robots, all different types of robots. And one thing good about this, we can shoot them any old which way. We're not crippling them. You can cripple them if you so wish, but you don't have to. We just gotta destroy them. All right, so here we go. Starting here. Oh, how you doing? Yeah, whatever, bots. And one thing good about robots is they have all kinds of good stuff on them. What's that over there? Sanctioned, eh? I feel good down there. Burp, burp. <laughs> Alright, just keep going here. Should be at least one more here. Usually it's a little guy in a track. There he is right there. Try to watch her. Not watching anything right now. Watching his uh, self uh, fall to the floor. Oh, there's a little eyebot there. Now another. Now uh, turrets. Uh, turrets are also included with the robots if you come across turrets. Okay. So if you destroy turrets, turrets are considered robots and it will count. Look at this. We got all kinds of uh, chems here as well. As you can see, just see them laying around. Right, let's head over here. Oh, there's a couple guys in here. What are you guys doing in there, anyway? Oh, oh, oh. See, I just flopped there like a fish. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. So there's all kinds of robots here. All kinds of them. There's usually one more kind of up on that building. And there'll be uh, two more in that little area up there. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, they see him up there waiting for me. He's like, uh, he's going to come up these stairs any time. <laughs> All right, you can go ahead and clear the area out if you so wish. We just come here for uh, the 10 robots. There we go. Look at that, another right away down. As you can see, you can, it, it, 
chems, you could find them everywhere. Everywhere. All right. Let's see what's next here, Jim. Collect the Deathclaw egg one, so I have many standalone videos showing locations to find Deathclaw eggs. One such spot is over here at Deathclaw Island. There will be a Deathclaw that pops out of the ground. And I know myself, I can only speak for myself, that I don't have much luck finding a Deathclaw egg there. I know a lot of people have the opposite luck. <laughs> they have a lot of luck, uh, but I do not. Uh, but probably one of the best spots for Deathclaw eggs is usually over here on the other side of the map at the abandoned waste dump. And the only reason why I say that is because there's five Deathclaw nests here. Okay, there's two Deathclaws, sometimes three. But there are five Deathclaw nests usually between the outside and the inside of this cavern. Alright, so FYI. Uh, what I'm going to take you is we're going to try our luck over here at Deathclaw Island. Let's go ahead and pop over here. All right, so again, we're going to have to take care of this death claw first and make sure we're locked and loaded. We're going to swim across this murky water, Ohio River. All right, so we're going to get ourselves up here. We're going to get all sneaky, sneaky. You see Buddy coming out of the ground here. Just shoot him in the face. And he's so dramatic. Everyone knows how. <laughs> okay. Turns into a little pile of goo there. Perfect. So you got a stim pack on him. Black titanium. Make sure you take this stuff. All right. Good stuff. Uh, okay. Go look at that. There's an egg right there. Nice. So this, for me, this doesn't happen very often. Okay. Uh, some people will say it's around this suitcase. I've seen it. Like, I've seen the egg over here. I've seen the egg over here as well. So um, just an FYI. So that's pretty awesome. I just, we actually found one here. Now, if you don't have one here, there we go. Collect the Deathclaw egg one for one. If you if you have the same luck as me and can't find one here, you can always server hop. It all depends on the server, the spawn of that egg. And uh, I can't stress that enough. So all you do is just open up your menu. Go down here. You go quit. Okay. Then you, then you reload the game again. And you just reload at the same spot. You just keep coming over here. You might have to kill the Deathclaw a couple of times until you finally find a server where you'll find the egg. But if you're only limited to uh, public servers with other people, everyone and their dog have the same daily weekly challenges as you. And they'll be coming here looking for this egg. So just an FYI, it could take you a little bit of time. Or if you're lucky enough and you can make your way over here to the abandoned waste dump, you have a higher chance because there's five nests here. All right. And if you have a friend or if you go on a server, you can always message a higher level. And the community is uh, is pretty good, you know what I mean? And uh, I know myself, if someone messaged me, I would I would help them, right? All right, so there we go. Deathclaw Island, we're pretty lucky here today, so that's awesome. What's next here, Jim? Kill a cultist, 10. Many great spots to kill cultists. I have many great videos. Again, you'll usually see cultists by this particular icon here. Where I'm going to take you here today right down here good old point pleasant so let's pop over here this is a very popular spot especially if you're on a public server most folks will probably come here over <laughs> over everywhere else right and while we're here we're going to look for a uh, mothman egg because we need three of them let's go here hey my face is on fire <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know where their body went. They might have disappeared somewhere. Oh, they're way over here. Holy, how'd you get over here, butts? Oh, look at that. Short flamer. Nice. That's awesome. Jeez. That's pretty cool. Be sure you take that flamer and scrap it at a workbench. If you don't decide to use it, because you do have a good chance it'll give you a mod for the flamer. One thing good about these open these open uh, challenges like this, we can kill the mini old which way, just kill cultists, done. You know what I mean? Burp, burp. Oh, he survived. No, maybe not. Something exploded up there. Something explodey. Is that that guy over there? Wow. Quite something. Holy moth man, yeah, I bet. I bet holy moth man. 
There's a third guy here. Oh, he's over here. And we'll just take care of a few more cultists here. Oh, jeez. I regret <laughs> See, he's got a stim pack on him. He'll call call this 10 for 10. Just like that. These areas here is a great spot for finding stim packs and chems. Yeah, great spot. Look at that. There's a chem right there. Nice. All right. Let's uh, take care of some more of these guys. These guys are a little annoying. All right. Good stuff. So the next one here. Collect Mothman Eggs 3. So here we talk. We had this one similar to yesterday. We had to make a uh, crafted Mothman Egg Omelet. To sell it to an NPC vendor 1. So again, I have many videos just showing you different locations of Mothman Eggs. Okay. And I, you will come across a video where I bring you guys up here. And um, it's no longer called Ingram Mansion. It's now called the Rose Room. Okay. So before it became the Rose Room... Holy jeepers. Before it was called the Rose Room, it was called Ingram Mansion. And it was a great spot to find to get rid of some cultists and a great spot to find Mothman eggs. So you will come across that video. I did make the adjustments saying that is no longer the case. Okay, and of course we all know that now if we travel there. So it oh, but those Mothman eggs are not longer there at all. Okay. So probably one of the best spots for Mothman eggs. I take you guys. I took you guys there yesterday. Is the Kanawha County Cemetery. And as you don't even have to combat any cultists at all. As soon as you spawn in, you just go to that decapitated shed. And there's three bunches of Mothman eggs. And you just grab them. Done. Just like that. Okay. Now, once when you're in Point Pleasant, this is probably hands down. Probably one of the best spots here. As we can see down by that statue. Okay. Because there's the Mothman Museum. We can see all kinds of Mothman eggs down there. All kinds of her. And uh, we didn't even have to go this far. Just right down here at the water's edge, there's a lot more Mothman eggs as well. And all you do is just harvest, harvest, harvest like that. And look, there's even more on this side. It's little bunches of them. All right, so there we go. Collect Mothman eggs three for three. Done. Just like that, guys. Very nice out here. A shame. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's take a look at these daily challenges here. And we're done. Double score weekend. Now's the time to play to rank up in the old season 16 season pass system. Unlock some pages. Use some score booster drinks if you got them, as I mentioned. If you so wish. But yeah, it's a good weekend. Good weekend to gain some traction there, especially for the newer folk who have joined us and, uh, yeah, make this community a lot bigger and everything like that. So it's awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwin138, Robco. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.